Hi everyone, this is Liz from Liz's Paper Loft, and I'm going to be doing my very first video. I'm um, a little nervous, so um, please be kind on your comments, and um, I had a lot of people ask me last week um, how I made some ornaments that I had introduced uh, during the Scrappy Mom Stamps uh, release for their new stamp set, and uh, this was a tag I made along with these ornaments. And um, they're just, uh, it's a winter scene inside a clear glass bulb with just one opening at the top. And I'm going to go ahead and um, show you really quick how I did this. And first we're going to decorate our snow, my little snowman. And I'm going to use um, Beacon 3-in-1 glue. I love this glue. And... Um, I'm going to decorate them really quick. The reason why I love this glue is because you can kind of be a little bit sloppy with it. And it's real forgiving. If you get it on the paper, it basically just rubs right off. It's awesome. It's awesome glue. And um, I'm going to glue this little uh, scarf on. I'm trying to do this fairly fast. And, oh, where's my tweezers? There they are. I never craft without my tweezers. It's really hard for me to do it. In fact, um, some of you may, some of you already know, but I had actually won um, the Cricut Circle uh, infomercial. They were making a DVD, the Cricut, um, Cricut was, or ProvoCraft was, and I actually won. And it's amazing that I even won. I can't even believe I did. Um, and when I went to go do the filming, I had forgotten two things. Is one, I didn't. I don't think they really wanted me using tweezers. Um, and two is my glasses. And um, I actually had to demo a project, um, project. And I'm not so sure if that actually made the DVD because, well, oh my goodness, I. Um, they actually sent me a copy of it, and oh, how embarrassing! I am. I am not one to be in front of the camera. I am. I like to be behind the camera. I like to take pictures and do that kind of stuff and um, don't really like being behind the camera or in front of the camera. Anyway, um, and I was super, super sick. So the whole thing was felt like a nightmare, but they were very kind and very warm and um, generous and lots of compliments, but you know how that goes. <laughs> and um, well, let me use the zig glue really quick on this. So, crafting without my tweezers is a crazy thing. Um, I'm usually, when I craft, I have a really hard time coming up with projects sometimes. And um, sometimes it takes me just forever to, to come up with them. But when, as you can see, I craft, I actually do it pretty quick. Once I get the project cut and all laid out. Um, now I'm going to just add a little bit of, um, oh, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Um, a little pink for his cheeks, which you'll barely even see. I don't even know if this is even going to show up. Let's see. And another thing, oh boy, making this video, it's actually a little more difficult than I thought it would be. Um, boy, the people that really make them and make them a lot, like, like Emma, who was so sweet, she was She's been trying to help me um, make this. I actually made it. I actually made one yesterday. I couldn't get it uploaded, so we're trying it all over again. So, oops. Uh, add little white, little dots. Oops, let's get this started. My pen's a little gloppy. And I'm doing this, I feel like I said, I do, it feels like I'm doing this in the dark a little bit because um, to get the right lighting for the video, um, I just added some eyes. Um, I had to tone down the light I usually use. And um, with this project, I normally would use stickles or something like that for snow, but you'll see in a minute why that is not a good option. So we're just going to use a little bit of white pen to create a little bit of snow caps on the trees. And let that dry for a second. And there we have a little decorated snow. Oh, oh, little fringe on the scarf. A little 
detail on the hat. <clears throat> Just a little. And now I'm going to show you the magic. Okay, so here we have our glass ball. And we really are going to put it right through that little hole. See that little hole? We're really going to put it right through there. And the way we're going to do that is... Da, 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 da. It is acetate or clear cardstock. And I got this from Paper Tray Ink. And what we're going to do is just glue this to the circle. And glue our little trees. And stick one there. Oops, drop the cap. Stick another one there. And put a little snowman on. I hope I'm not doing this too fast. I'm trying to do it fast because, you know, you only have so much time to get it in there. Get the video up. Glue him down. And normally you would wait a little bit longer. Um, to get this accomplished and to get it inside, but um, because of time, we're going to go ahead and do it now. So now that you have them glued on, this is where a little magic happens. Oops, I'm going to roll, let me get that glue off my hand, roll it up into a little roll, tight roll, like a little taquito, and we're going to stick it in the hole. And voila! Now, as you can see, whoops, drop my tweezers. You're gonna take your tweezers and we're gonna, oops. This is the kind of the tricky part. And you're gonna kind of turn it and see, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of bent a little bit, the trees are a little bent. And you just take your tweezers and kind of flatten it out a little bit, kind of bend it the opposite way to get them to stick. And you do have to be somewhat careful as to not crack the glass. Some of these that I bought at Michael's, they were a little bit cracked on top already. And then we take some uh, mini glue dots. And you them off their little sheet. Oops. And you kind of stick it in there, just at the top, just one or two. And then you grab the plastic. Oops. I don't really have it in there yet. Let's try this again. There you go. Grab the plastic and kind of pull up a little bit until you hit the glue dot. Let's try that again. It's not really having a little trouble today. And then I um, might have to use two. And you just stick them right, I don't know if you can see that, it's very clear. Kind of just stick it in there at the top. There we go. And then you just pull straight up. And when you get the ribbon on, you won't see it. But you can kind of see a glop right there. And then maybe the other one's kind of right at the neck, which actually was the better place to go. And then um, make sure that that's in the center. I don't know if you can see that. So that the plastic is right in the center. And then so it doesn't roll around. You grab some snow, and this is just some snow um, that I got at Michael's that you find in the section where the little snow villages are. And you just stick it in the hole and try to get it on both sides of the plastic. And then I guess I use my tweezers, I guess, for everything. Like I said, for everything. So now I just don't know what I did over there. And shake it in there. Got some more in the back rather than the front this time. Yeah, I'm having a little 
little harder time. It's funny, like I told, said, I filmed this yesterday and I was home all alone. And now I'm not home all, all alone and it's actually a little more nerve wracking to do it when people are here because I know they can hear me. So that's kind of weird, but um, anyway, that's something I'm going to have to get over if I continue to do this, and I don't know if I will. <laughs> I'm wanting to do it, but we'll see. We'll see if I do another one. And this is just... Okay. Try to get this little... There we go. And just fill it till you think it's enough. And it doesn't have to be a lot. It's just enough to to make it look wintery. I don't know if you can see that. And then some will stick to the inside of the glass, which I think just adds to it. <clears throat> this one has quite a bit sticking at the top. These glue dots are a new brand that I got. Or they changed the packaging. I think they changed the packaging. I don't really like the way they're on the sheets rather than the roll. And they're seem to be a little bit different consistency too. Anyway, okay, so that's what you do. Then you're going to stick your topper back on and put one prong on each side of the acetate. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's it. And then we can add a bow with a glue dot. Or not. <laughs> oh, here's some. And we'll just add a a little bit of a bow and there you go that's it so I hope you enjoyed this if you have any questions you can always email me my email is on my blog and my blog is lizspaperloft.blogspot.com and I hope you enjoyed this thanks bye bye